Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and today I'll be reviewing Sleeper by Owen O'Hare, produced by Theory11. So this is the box that will come in, obviously, and it's a really nicely designed box. On the side it'll say, one card slowly rises, another one, 311 Sleeper, and it has a really cool design on the front, which I really like. It goes with the whole like sleep thing. It's really cool. Um, on the inside, in this little pouch here, I can't take it out because it actually has a link to the tutorial, but this is where, obviously, the link to the tutorial is. And this is just basically the box that will come in. I can't really show the gimmick just because it gives too much away. But let's get into how the gimmick holds up in live conditions. So I found that the gimmick breaks pretty easily. Um, not as easily as what you might think though, like you could probably get a good 10 to 20 performances out of it, but it is going to break. However, that's fine, 311 set you up with enough material to fix your gimmick if it breaks down continuously. It's a lot of material to keep on fixing it. And at first I thought it would be a little difficult to fix this gimmick, but Blake Voigt does an excellent job of teaching you how to fix this gimmick and I've fixed it like two or three times and it works just fine after I fix it. Um, there is another issue with this effect though is it's a little hard for it to when you have it set up and it's ready to go I know that sounds a little confusing but those that have this effect will know what I'm talking about it's really hard to hide the gimmick within the deck of cards I found a workaround for that though. You can use an older deck of cards and that kind of disguises it pretty well that are kind of roughed up cards or what you would do is you would never have it perfectly squared up. That you would have the deck of cards kind of spread out a little bit and not perfectly squared up and that should cover up your gimmick just fine. But it really can take place in the spectator's hands. I've performed it that way and you have more control though if it's in your hands obviously so if you're willing to give up that control go for it and it really does work in the spectator's hands i use it in live performances so if i had to give this a rating i would actually give it a nine out of ten it is the best rising card effect that i am currently using i have a few other rising card effects but sleeper is my favorite and what i like about it is it really is under your control when it rises like you can load it into the deck and just kind of let it sit there then on your command when you're ready to let it rise that is all under your control and it's really cool so i give it a 9 out of 10 and i highly recommend it to anyone that is into rising card effects or magic that takes place in the spectator's hands and now without further ado here's a live performance for you guys to see of sleeper by owen O'Hare. thank you Okay. And you can show it to everyone. This is going to be you doing it though. Okay. I'll just coach you through it. Okay. Probably should have got your name. Sophia. Sophia? Alright. Sophia, how do you feel about your first magic performance? Um, very nervous because right, I'm, I'm going to screw it up. <laughs> I don't know if you just saw this. I just cut the deck and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it slightly in the middle here. Okay. okay? Is that okay with you? Yep. Alright. Now I'm going to be a little bit mean. I'm going to like shuffle it right in front of you. That way position is completely lost. Okay. And just so you know that I'm not doing anything shaky, I'm just going to set it down on the ground and I want you to pretty much hold it like it was on the ground. So just hold it like how I am here. Okay. Like, just like that. Okay. And then I want you to think about your card and as you do, slowly release your fingers. Just slowly release it. Yep, just like so. And I want you to think what? about your card. <laughs> just keep on thinking about it and I'm going to try and guess what your card was. Was it yes. the Ace of Spades? Um, you showed them? Yes! Alright, thank you. So that was Sophia's first magic trick. Good job. Wow. Even though you did it for me, but thank you. Yeah. No, that was you. I didn't 